Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Haven and Hearth. Uh, I'm just going to be candid with you as I give my name uh, to the wizard, Alfredi II, as you may notice. Uh, that is because Alfredi I was mired with technical problems, you see. Oh, good god, that's loud. Um, okay, here we are. Ah, yes, indeed, there's the corpse of uh, a fallen fellow. Um, I indeed was here when the server, when the world reset at noon. It is now almost 1.30, uh, because for the first hour and a half of the world reset, uh, I was recording the wrong application. So, <laughs> I'm going to restart here and uh, actually record the correct one, which is fine, because I had a horrendous start uh, that I'll explain while I kind of do the classic Haven and Hearth opening here. Uh, getting a bunch of curios, getting a bunch of, you know, you're going to hear the Zelda sound going off a lot. My, the first character that I made, Alfredi, on this on this world here, um, I went to go raid some anthills, because that's kind of the cornerstone of my early game strategy here, is, is I'm going to try to get, like, an early ant queen or something, or an ant empress, better yet. <laughs> but I aggroed a bat accidentally, uh, and that bat knocked me out, so I already immediately had a concussion. Um, and then the very next ant hill that I raided... It was one of those uh, super ant hills, you know, one of the super ants. Anyway, that ant absolutely obliterated me. Ah, oh, this is this is mean. Ah, oh, that was so mean. <laughs> oh, it was worth it though. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, so I went down again, got another concussion, and just generally had a really bad time. I had two levels of concussions, and I was covered in wounds. Um, so this is uh, off to a much better start already, I think. Even though I did have to reset all the stats back to one. Um, in some ways, it's probably worth it to not have to deal with the uh, two levels of concussion. And really, when you think about it, I wasn't even that well off anyway. I had like eight points in uh, survival and exploration, both of which were mired by the concussion. So I, I think by the time we're done with this speed segment here, uh, probably going to be back up to where I was just without the concussions and wounds. Oh my god, look at all these people! Oh my god! Yeah, this has got to be a clan of some sort. There's at least six of them. What? Oh my god! What have I stumbled on? Oh good lord! What is all this? Oh man! Dude, this is crazy! I got all the- I've never seen this many hearth fires in one place! I wonder what they would do if I just walked off with their cart. Oh, hold on. That is of much greater priority. There we go. Give me that, please. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think any of them suspect that I'm not one of them. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you fellas later. Gonna make a note of it. Stay far, far away from here. This is precisely what I wanted here. If I can just get a more favorable spread. There we go. Yep, see here. Alright, and just like that, I see, I believe we've raided our first ant hill here. Ant Empress, please. Alright, two ant soldiers, I will take that. Okay, and now this black screen that you're seeing here is actually a cut speed segment where I just travel far away by boat, picking up a few items along the way, but the reason that I cut it rather than showing it is because I realized I just made an enemy of a pretty huge clan, so probably unwise of me to show where I'm about to settle down. Right, uh, this actually looks like a pretty neat spot. Uh, I'm going to plonk the dugout down right there, 
And uh, I like the look of this spot. So I think what I'll do then is uh, get one of these dream catchers down, right? So I'm going to need four. Might as well drop these dead creatures for the moment being. Four bows and two string. Get this dream catcher. We'll call it right here then. And so in about 20 minutes, uh, that'll have a beautiful dream that I can harvest. That'll be nice. I can set my hearth fire here. Well, first things first, let's pile up all of the important resources. Uh, flay all of these guys. Alright, that's a clean inventory. Um, I think I'm either going to chop all these trees down immediately myself, or I might... Oh wow, the Dreamcatcher is ready already? Alright, then I will just uh, light my hearth fire then. Alright, got a hearth fire lit. I can return here whenever I need. Awesome. Next up, I suppose, I could either clear all of these trees, or I could go out looking for more bones. And I think I'm going to do the latter. I think I'm going to go out and look for more bones. Alright, got an inventory full of goodies. Might as well make our way home now. Oh, and it seems that uh, morning has rose. Alright, I've got nine bones. That's 18% um, uh, of the way to my goal. It's, uh, it's a good number, 18%. Not too tiny. What the hell am I hearing? My location's been compromised! Oh, pick up the bones quick. No, he's gonna get him! You bastard. Hello! Yeah, look at him go for my shit. There he goes! This b- <laughs> I'm, I'm calling him a- as though I didn't also walk off with that uh, dugout canoe. <laughs> hmm, perhaps he can be talked out of it. He even appears to be doing some manual labor for me. Now this deal just keeps getting sweeter. Well, what a friendly fellow. I hope never to see him again. That's a fair deal, I'd say. Take mine, but leave me with a new one. It's better than anyone else would have done, anyway. Last things last, I'm just going to go fill this barrel up with water over at the uh, 
over at the lake, and then I think I'll be free to end this first episode here. Alright, now that I've got some water down, uh, I can start work on the area, and I think I'll do that uh, in the next episode. So, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'm so excited to be back in the Hearthlands, and uh, good night.